Introducing the all new Corolla. The Department of Public Health and Social Services now prohibits the use of electronic cigarettes in all public health facilities and vehicles. According to a press release, the policy was effective last week. E-cigarettes are vapor-based and has a flavored mixture containing nicotine that was intended for current adult smokers to continue enjoying their habit at a reduced risk. DPHS says Director James Gillen calls vaping the tobacco industry's way of getting a new generation of addicts and that it should be regulated and taxed. The FDA actually has determined that the, the solutions that, that uh, are used as part of the delivery system are tobacco products. So if nothing else, we should tax them as tobacco products. At least get some revenue so that we can help people who still are addicted to nicotine uh, use a more effective uh, cessation methods. And there are some, okay, but this still is not, not an approved smoking cessation method. As DPHSS states, aside from nicotine, additional ingredients in e-cig cartridges are unknown. But according to shop owner of Vape Guam, Evan Deeris, the liquid only contains food-grade products and says research has not found any health risk on vaping. In reality, the most harmful thing in vaping, just like the cigarette has, is the nicotine. But nicotine is known not to cause cancer. It's just an addicting drug. And what, what, what we try to do here, pretty much the, my store, is we promote it out to strictly just the, the people who really want to help, need the help to quit smoking. As far as, as, far as uh, an addiction, uh, I think smoking is worse, far worse than vaping. Bill 264, introduced by Senator Dennis Rodriguez, would prohibit the sale of e-cigarettes to minors. Deere said vape shops on island already implement that rule and only sells products to people 18 years or older. With these like 8, 12-year-olds that you see vaping, it's not really going to help the community because they're just going to see it as a bad you know, uh, alternative. Like it's, oh, that's just for uh, younger kids to just start a new habit. Um, but I really do think they should regulate it. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.